désolé pour mon français, mais bientôt nous plongerons dans la foi ténèbres. Adieu, vive clarté de nos étés trop courts. J'entends déjà tomber avec des chocs funèbres, le bois rentissant sur la pavé des cours. Tout l'hiver va rentrer dans mon être, colère, haine, frisson, horreur, labeur de réforcé, et comme le soleil dans son enfer polaire, mon corps ne sera plus qu'un bloc rouge et glacé. J'écoute en frémissant chaque bouche qui tombe, l'échafaud qu'on bâtit n'a pas d'écho plus sourd, mon esprit est paré à la tour qui se comme sur les coupes de bélier infatigable et lourd. Il me semble bercé par ce choc monotone, concluer en grande hâte un secoué quelque part, pour qui, cet hier, l'été, voici l'automne, ce bruit mystérieux sont comme un départ. J'aime de vos longs yeux la lumière verdâtre, douce bouteille, mais tout aujourd'hui mes amère, et rien ne votre amour, ni le boudoir, ni l'être, ne me vaut le soleil rayonnant sur la mer. Et pourtant aimez-moi tendre cœur, soyez mère, même pour un ingrat, même pour un méchant, amant ou sœur, soyez le deux sœurs éphémères, d'un glorieux tombe ou d'un soleil couchant. Qu'au tâche le tombe ton elle est avide, ah laissez-moi mon front posé sur vos genoux, goûtez en regrettant l'été blanc et torride, de l'arrière-saison le rayon jaune et doux. Okay, hello everybody, my name is Dane. This is the Horror Hearts book tag part two. I was tagged to do this by Regina's Haunted Library. Uh, she also created this tag, she created a previous part one of it. Um, and she said she wanted to see me read uh, Baudelaire in French, so I thought I'd give it a go. I'm not French, mais je parle un peu de français. Uh, we oui. Hello! Uh, there are 12 questions. I'm going to try and answer these questions and I'm going to tag some people at the end. Well, that's question 12, so spoiler alert. Dane reads. So, jumping right in. Question one. What is the darkest love story you've ever read? Novel or novella? Hmm, okay. Hmm, the darkest. I mean, the one that comes to mind straight away is uh, Candy by Luke Davies, which is... It was actually turned into a movie uh, with Heath Ledger in it as well. But it's basically about this couple who love each other, but they also really love heroin. And some, some pretty dark things happen in that. I'm going to go with that. I mean, I don't, I don't really read love stories in general, so... So actually, pretty much any story that I read that has love in it has probably got some dark elements to it. Question number two, what literary character do you love to hate? I mean, I guess Hercule Poirot. I, I don't, I wouldn't say I necessarily hate him, but he does wind me up and, uh, I mean, I think it's intentional. Like, even Agatha Christie, by the end, didn't really like Poirot. He's not a very likeable person. I mean, that's kind of his genius. Like, he doesn't care whether you like him or not. He, he's just there to solve the case. Like, he, he doesn't, he doesn't really give a shit what you think about him. Um, which is infuriating, but also, he's Poirot, you know, you gotta let him get away with that shit. Alright, question number three. Who is your literary crush, character or author? I don't know if I have one. Let's have a think. I don't think I have one. Um, I guess we'll go with Doris from Our Doris by Charles Heathcote. Why not? I, I bet she's a bit of a gilf. Sorry, Charlie. <laughs> question number four. Who is your horror movie crush, character or actor? Um, okay, so when uh, I was watching Regina do this, she was talking about Gary Oldman as a vampire and that made me think of Kate Beckinsale in uh, the Underworld movies. She, she, yeah, we'll go with that. Question number five, what horror writer, living or deceased, would you like to have a date with, platonic or otherwise? Mary Shelley? I bet she'd be, I'd, I could go on a date with Mary Shelley. Percy might not be happy. Well, fuck you, Percy. You died young. I'll, I'll date Mary after you've shuffled off your mortal coil, mate. Question number six. Name a darkly romantic movie you love. Horror or non-horror? Again, I don't really do romance. This isn't really the tag for me, to be honest. A darkly romantic movie that I love. That I love. Well, that's... Yeah, there's the bit in the... The, the Mist has got a bit of a love storyline in it, and then there's that ending where he's like... <laughs> Question number seven. Best love slash sex scene in a horror movie. Um, okay. Oh, um, the, there's the one in um, Cabin Fever 
where where Lado in it is having sex with the girl that he likes and he suddenly sees there's loads of blood and it's because she has the flesh eating horrible disease. Question number eight, worst love slash sex scene in a horror movie? I guess mo most of them. Ooh, this is difficult because I don't I don't pay attention to these things. I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know if I've got anything for you there. I don't I don't, I'm sorry. Question number nine, most deliciously decadent food slash drink indulgence. Uh well I'm vegan, so that limits me somewhat. Uh vegan marshmallow is pretty good. Um, I mean, what's the most delicious? Oh, I made this um, uh, a Biscoff, Lotus Biscoff cake recently with loads of icing on it and it was so good. It was about a thousand calories per slice, but it was delicious. And then I had that with ice cream. Question number 10, best darkly romantic short story? Again, I don't really do romance. Um... I did. I just don't know. Darkly romantic short story. It's probably an Agatha Christie one where someone gets murdered. I, I don't know. Question number eleven. Read a darkly romantic slash erotic poem. Um, I mean, probably one of mine. We'll do one of my poems, telling Carla she's beautiful. She's all the good times and the bad times and the times I laid awake at night wondering where she was, what she was doing and whether she thought of me like I thought of her. She's the all time most bodacious, ancient with a facelift. Prince lifted from fingers and lingering incense met my interest, princess. You know, she don't eat meat and feel free to disagree, but that's a part of me. She got the hopes and dreams, but her self-esteem needs an increase. She needs me to be me so she can see her divinity. My God, I believe in her more than anything. She's a rare flower growing amongst the weeds, not a fucking songbird in a cage. That's what I got for you. And question number 12, tag a fellow booktuber who may or may not be your booktube crush. Okay, well, we'll do some, I guess in the spirit of this, I shouldn't just do people who are in the comments. So we'll tag um, Murs from Harpies in the Trees, may or may not be a booktube crush. Kaz from Cats and Camera, again. Um, we've got uh, Gloria McNeely, we should do some dudes. Charlie, Charles Heathcote, he's a good looking chap. Uh, say Kevy, we'll do um, fucking, I've forgotten the channel name that I'm actually trying to go for here. Nicole Foti, uh, Jeremy Fee, uh, Slady from Sl Slady Vlogs. Everyone who reads it must converse. Everyone who reads it must converse. Can't speak. Marie McWilliams. We got a lot of good-looking people on YouTube. Attention with an exclamation point. We'll do one more. Uh, we will do bookish. Yeah. All right. So there we have it. That is the Horror Hearts BookTube tag part two. As always, feel free to do this if I haven't tagged you. Feel free to not do this if I have tagged you. Let me know in the comments what you thought of my answers. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more. And I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.